Hello everybody, I'm Nora Burrows. I just got this fabulous butterfly fabric here and I had an idea. My thought is that since these butterflies are spaced right on top of each other, there's no space in between the butterflies, that all of these colors would be super cool if I cut these up into smaller pieces. And at first I thought maybe I would cut them into little squares, but then I thought it would be so much cooler just to chop away at it and then add, I got two other fabrics to add. So this is gonna be the primary fabric that I add around it, this like black and gray pinstripe, which I thought made sense because there is kind of these, you know, you can see these just thin black lines in a lot of the butterfly wings. So I thought that would work well. And then as an accent accent, I barely wanna use any, but I did get this black and white stripe. So it would be these two, with this, but what I really wanna see, I wanna go ahead and cut this up, and I really, really wanna see how, you know, if you have like a piece here, you're getting some of the yellow and some of the orange. Or if you cut, you know, this piece, you might be getting a little pop of the green, but it'll be a surprise. I wanna kinda of turn the fabric upside down so I don't see what I'm cutting. Let's go ahead and give it a try. I think what I'm gonna do is flip the section that I'm cutting over so that I can't see really what I'm doing. I mean, I can a little bit, but I want this to kind of be a surprise. So I have my rotary cutter and I'm just gonna make some random cuts here. Maybe one more for now. And let's open these up and I think I'm going to cut them down even farther. And ideally I would like for this to, for them not to look like butterflies. The more it just looks like shapes and colors, the better. So I'm going to cut some of these down. So this is kind of the size that I'm looking for here. And here, you know, this could be like a leaf, you know, they, they don't look so butterflyish when they get smaller like this. And that is what I'm going for. This one is another size. I could cut this down a little bit, but I think for now I'm going to leave that that size. This one I'll cut. This one I'll leave this size. So I have my pieces. I'm just gonna make a little pile here. And what I'm gonna do next is cut a strip of this black and gray fabric. I'll open it up. And what I think I'm gonna do is just sew one side of each of these pieces onto the black. So I'll line all of these up right along one side just like this, then I'll sew right down the strip and then cut these pieces apart. Let me show you. So as you can see, I've sewn all of these pieces on. So if I open this up, they're sewn together. And what I'm gonna do is take my scissors and just go along here and cut all of these pieces apart. So that when you open them up, they're sewn together. I'm gonna give these a good iron and then we'll add on another piece. Here are my pieces and I can do one of a couple things. I could either take one of these pieces and then sew it on to another already existing duplicate here. I could also add on another strip of the black fabric or I do have over here some of these leftover pieces that didn't get sewn onto the black strip initially. And so I could take one of these and then sew it on to the strip like that. So I'm gonna match all of these up 
and send them through the sewing machine again and then see what we come up with. What I'd like to do is start to make some cuts to sew, to keep sewing pieces together. So let me see. So for example, for this one here, because this one is kind of all over the place, um, let's put our ruler, let's do it like this. Maybe we can add a piece of butterfly that hasn't been connected to anything, like this. That's cool. Let's do that. Let's make this a nice straight line. And put those ones together. And I'm using a binding clip to attach my pieces so I remember which ones are supposed to go with what. Let's add a piece of black here. So let's take our fabric again and cut this up a little bit more. Some of these pieces are starting to look pretty cool. Like this one in particular, uh, I think is pretty successful. So the next step of this, let's see. How about that? Like that. That's cool. So I'm going to cut this. This piece I can keep and use. I'm going to just trim this up. Maybe I'll even trim it at a diagonal. Like that. And then I can add it right there those right sides together, add my clip. What else can we pair? Here's the piece we just cut off. We could add just a little strip. Let's do that. Let's cut this side to be straight. I like that. Let's cut this at a diagonal again. Attach those like that, right sides together. How about this one with that? Let's see what we have here. We just have some of these kind of smaller pieces. This one, this one's looking pretty cool. And it's nice and long. I wonder if I can get another long piece to attach to that one. Oh, this one has a similar kind of triangle feel to it. Let's see. Maybe we can attach those, but I think it needs like a black in the middle actually. Hmm. I do think I'm going to sew a black piece to this. about this. That's pretty good. Now this one I'd like to kind of go up. So I'm going to trim this top part off here like that. Okay. These I'm going to Add some black here. Okay, we'll add this on right here. We have two more pieces. Maybe we can put this one on here. Could either do that or
Let's see what it looks like when we trim this. How about this? That's good. Right like that. What happens if we fold it double like that? Layer these on top of each other and cut them again. All right, let's see what we have here. Really interesting, okay. I don't like that little head there. I'm gonna cut it. I like that better. This kind of this kind of makes me uncomfortable, I don't know. Maybe I'll just cut that off. There. All right, what do we have here? Really beautiful pieces, aren't they? They're so cool. I really like the ones with the pink, like this one. It's awesome. Some interesting things happening here. Let's take a look at this one first. I love how much black is up here. So I'm gonna try and leave as much of that on there as possible. And then on the bottom, I'm just gonna cut this to be a straight line. Maybe I can attach this to another existing piece, but let's see what else we have here. This is a particularly really cool piece here. I love that. Um, you could do something like this. Yeah, let's do that. So let's trim this. This is another one that I'm really liking. Um, let's take a look actually at this one for a minute. So as I showed you at the beginning, I do have this white and black stripe as well that I want to sprinkle in. And I'd like to maybe use that soon. Um, I think I want to put a strip here, but maybe I want to put a piece of black first. Uh, I don't know, let me think for a second. Let me try and trim this. I either want to just immediately put a piece of white or put a piece of black, a strip of black there, and then put a strip of white. So kind of like that. And I think I'm gonna just attach it right, right to this piece. Here's the white strip. It's a one inch strip, so it'll finish at half an inch attach those. How about these ones together? That looks good and I'm going to do the diagonal thing. And then I can put these together. Great. How about this? I really like that. Let's do that. I put together a couple pretty large pieces here. Two, two large pieces in particular. So I have this one. And I think it's it's coming out pretty good. I really like this, you know, half inch strip of the black and white stripe. So there's this one, and then and then this one, which I also think the the black and white stripe is successful in this piece as well. So I have a thought for this piece. Um, I think I, what I want to do is to start squaring this off to make this a square, so that I can start connecting these pieces to other pieces at some point. This can be my top line along here. This will be my straight edge. And what I'm gonna do is bring my ruler down here onto this side and make my cut so that I have my 90 degree angle up here. And I have this piece left over that I can save. I'm gonna put this piece aside for a minute. I will keep working on it. Some of the next steps would be to cut right here and to add a piece up here so that I could then make this a 90 degree angle and then come down here and a little bit down here. But I'm gonna put that piece aside. I do have 
Oh, I also had this other big piece that I forgot about. I have this one as well. I wonder if I could put these pieces together. Bef I could do something like this, but before I do that, I want to enclose this strip here in something. Let's see what we have to work with for that. How about this? I'm going to cut this to be a nine to to be a diagonal. And then I can sew that there. All right, here are some of the pieces that I just sewed together. I don't need to go through all of them, but here's one of the bigger ones right here. And I thought I would try and, let's see, what do I wanna do? So I could start to square this one off and make this the top. Um, I want to cut right here though. Is just how I'm feeling like I want to do this. Okay, let's see. So you could have this be the top. Let's cut this, let's cut this side too and make this side straight and see what we have. I wonder, so this is the one that we squared this corner up here. I wonder if I could somehow attach these together here. Hmm. I think not. How about, how about this piece? Let's see if we can somehow connect these pieces. No, that's not working either. Okay. Um, all right, so let's, let's put these up here for a minute and see what else we have. I could do that. I don't hate that. Here's a fun piece here. Um, what can we do with this one? I wanna keep these together so I can remember that. How about that? I think that could work. Here's another, let's cut this one. That's kind of neat, I like that. Let's put those together. I've made some good progress, especially on this piece here. This is the one that we squared off at the top. I also added a piece to the bottom here so that I was able to square this off. And then I added this big, big, big chunk over here. So I think I'm gonna turn this, I'm gonna rotate it, and I'm gonna trim right down here and right down here, and then I'll have to see what happens in this space. But, but let's, let's trim this first. There's that side. And here's this side, I can save this piece. I need to fill this spot here. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is put a strip here and then see if I have kind of a triangle shape after I attach this. Some of the other larger pieces that I've been working on is this one here and this one, which I think are both really successful. I wanna attach something to this side next but I don't think I have anything long enough at this point. And then I have this one as well. Could do something like that. But let me think, let me think about it. I also have some of these kind of smaller-ish pieces. I think that one's pretty cool. 
It's a couple days later, and as you can see, I've been making some really good progress here. I have these three pieces, pretty large, and then I have these pieces back here, which are also on the larger side, but need to be connected together to make bigger pieces. And then down here, I have a bunch of really small pieces that need to be put together. What I did with these three larger ones here, this one I don't consider to be larger, but I did square off um, the top two corners, and so I, I consider this to be a larger kind of finished-ish piece. Uh, so this piece will be ready to at be attached to another piece. But what I did with these three kind of finished-ish pieces is I left the bottoms n unsquared. I did not square the bottoms, you can see, with any of these. And the reason for that um, is that I want to be able to add length to them if I need to. So for example, if I were to put these two pieces together, which I may, this may be my next step, I may put these two together, um, or you know, I may want to line this one up here, which means I would kind of take that down a little bit, line it up, and then I would just need to add a little strip to the top. But if you look at the bottom down here, you know, I could just square it off by cutting the bottom this piece, the bottom of this piece off, but I think it would probably be better to extend this down and to add some piecing down here. So again, I've squared up the top of these blocks, but not the bottom. So my next step, I think I'm probably going to add um, a strip of the black and white stripe to this piece, and then see which of these pieces I can start. I can start putting together that are a little bit larger. This one here is almost ready to be squared off. Let's take a look. So the top actually is, this one might be another one. So the top is squared off, I'm remembering. Um, but I think I'm gonna come down here a little bit before I consider this block to be done. So I'll add a piece onto the bottom. Here's another one that's squared off. I really have a lot of these. I, I had forgotten. I did these last night and then went to bed and I forgot that I had squared a bunch of these up. So this one also is squared at the top. And I wonder if I could put these together. Not yet. So you could do something like that and put these two blocks together. I just need to come down a little bit or scooch it up so that it makes kind of this V, which is, which is cool. I like that. So I'm gonna keep working. I think this is successful so far. I would say the most successful pieces are the ones where you can't really tell it's a butterfly. Almost all of these you can, but not at first glance. I would say if you first look at this, it takes a little while for your eye to adjust and say, you know, what's going on there? And then you see their butterflies. Hopefully it's not too depressing with all these butterfly wings cut up, but I think it's pretty cool. I've been able to put a bunch of pieces together here. Um, as you can see, I just took this big chunk and cut it on the diagonal and then added that strip of the black and white stripe, kind of to tie it together because I was feeling like there was just too many of these little random lines around. So I think that's nice. So this is one big piece here. And then this piece over here needs to be sewn to that big piece, but this piece first needs to be sewn to this piece and then I can sew this piece to this piece. Then down here, I have these two pieces so I need to fit something in the middle there and then fit something on the end but I'll be able to have a long strip down here and then attach this to the top part. And then I may again cut, cut a big diagonal to add another really long strip to kind of tie it together. I think this is cool. I, I do have mixed feelings about it but there's potential there. Something interesting is happening. You know, I don't hate it. I don't love it. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see how I feel about it when it all comes together. I finished this large piece, and then what I did is I cut a diagonal line here where I'll put a strip of that black and white stripe. And then I cut this piece up here. So what I'm going to do is attach the black and white stripe to this line first. And then once those pieces are together, I'll attach another black and white stripe right across there. And then I may add another one somewhere down here, but I may not. We'll have to see how things are looking at that point. 
Here is the finished quilt top. I think it's pretty good. There are a couple things that I probably would have done differently in hindsight. Some of these strips here I would have placed a little bit differently, but then I did go ahead and add this one down here, which I think was a good touch. And then again, from what you saw earlier, here's that big diagonal I added, and then that one attached up there. So I think it's pretty cool. I think the idea is neat. You could do this in a variety of different fabrics. I also don't love that this is a pretty um, obvious seam line here. I would have liked to kind of hide that a little bit more, but I may be able to hide that when I do the quilting. I am going to quilt this up, but I am going to stop the video here for today. But uh, if you did want to see the finished product, I'll probably show it in an upcoming vlog. So don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.